Mel, uh, I just wanted to say something. I, I couldn't have done any of this without your help. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be stuck down there in the junkyard offices. Probably my battery backup would have run out in a few days. So, thanks. So, uh, let's get this done. Whatever happens, I believe in you. Really. Organic threat and mechanical threat number one detected in Central Hub. Countermeasures activated. Alright, so, in order to get to the Aegis core, we need to turn on the power, unlock the doors, and replace the turrets. Once that's done, we should have a clear shot at Aegis. Let's get going. generators. But, according to my research, the manual startup is over in the control room for generator 2. And it's locked. The control room for generator 1 has a manual security override though. Give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. That was a bad idea. The security system's kicked in. You can't open the doors from the inside anymore. Hurry, find a way to turn that other generator on, and then get out of here. Oh, wait, you just... how did you... Well, I guess manual bypass does work, doesn't it? <laughs> Good work! That's the first part. The security systems are now online. Oh, wait. I didn't think this through, did I? And alright, now that we have the power turned back on, we need to go to the security room overlooking the bridge to the Aegis core. Now that the security doors have unlocked, we should be able to get there.
Great, you're there. There should be a switch around this room. Once you flip it, Aegis's main security systems will go down. Then... pumped up the old turrets? This is where they might get useful. Head to the manufacturing line. Okay, here's the plan. We've got to take the turret production line down. So, there's about three ways I know to do this. The first should be easy and works most of the time. So, go into the scanner area and take the turret out. Without the model, the turrets can't be built. No, oh, that didn't work. Computers got a template for it. Uh, which leads us to solution number two. Use one of the old turrets to overwrite the template. I can reprogram it to not shoot you. And before you know, you got an army. Ah, scratch that idea. Apparently, there are no diversity events here. Which means I can't bring one in. I guess pumping up those turrets was a total waste of time. Lovely. So, third idea. We gotta override the targeting system on these ones. Manually. There's a targeting control room. It's nearby. Just be ready to run. I'll get the door open. on the other side, and just remember, the Nuremberg Olympics. instead of you. If we wait a little bit, all the turrets in this part of the facility should be replaced, allowing you to finally destroy Aegis. Well, why don't you test if the reprogramming worked? Stand in front of the model, one of two things will happen. The first, they won't shoot you. The second, uh, well, it, it shouldn't come to that, just, just trust me. Alright, that worked! Uh, I knew that would work! Uh, I totally knew it would work. Hmm, well, anyway, the turrets are ours now. Now get back to the elevator room again. Time to bring the fight to him. turrets were automatically replaced by the system as it read that there was an update to the turrets targeting systems. Every update they get replaced to make sure the turrets are the most up-to-date they can be and to prevent hacking. Oh, that's the emergency exit elevator. Once we shut down Aegis, we should be able to use it to get you out of here. Unfortunately, there are no management rails in there, so you'll have to do it without me. Th don't worry though, I'll be watching from back here and help you if needed. Alright, Mel, this is it. This is Aegis's server room. Get ready for this. It won't give up without a fight. Organic target detected in quarantined operations center. Preparing localized execution procedure. Well, it seems that he's booting up his security. He doesn't seem to know about the turrets yet. He'll be in for quite a shock. Your 
Careful, the water is electrified. Look at the damage that pumping up the water did. Almost a quarter of his servers are completely destroyed. Not bad for a simple maintenance core. A anyways, try to find a way to the back of the room. There's a turret dispenser over there. Those still have the old targeting parameters. Ah, why did I pump those useless things up? Watch yourself. Searching. Put me down. Target lost. Goodbye. Please put me down. Are you still there? Hibernating. Searching. Uh -oh. Hello. Searching. Asphyxiation program draining oxygen. Lethal oxygen concentration in D minus six minutes. Okay, Mel, this is it. You have just a few minutes before all the oxygen is gone. If you can't shut him down before he shuts you down, the entire facility will flood you across the room that is still pumping up. Who are you? Great job. That's half the servers on this side blown up. There are a few more upstairs. Go destroy them too. Get upstairs. What are you waiting for? Keep moving those turrets around! Lethal oxygen concentration in T minus five minutes. Side remain. You'll have to fling yourself in there. The entire facility depends on you. Stop the toxic goo from flooding the facility here, you know. 
Uh, you should be able to fling yourself on top of him. There's a hatch on him you can open to manually shut it down from the inside. seems to be the user control interface. You can control its entire functions from here. I can walk you through some of what you need to do. First things first, stop the toxic goo from pumping up. We should be able to contain it in test shaft Lima whiskey. Oh wait, Mel. Before shutting this thing down completely, Remember that there was a third target it was trying to take out? Well, we're not three, unless you can tell me otherwise. Try to see what you can do. Type um, ping underscore target underscore list. Am, am I reading this right? Was this thing trying to destroy her? It was targeting GLaDOS? Mel... What have we done? GLaDOS killed every scientist in this facility before being destroyed by a tenacious test subject, this thing, Aegis. It was trying to finish the job and flood the facility to destroy her. Mel, we might just have given GLaDOS a chance to get back in power. How could we have done that? Why didn't I see it sooner? Well, if you want to get out of here, now is your best chance. You don't want to be around when she comes back online. You should shut down Aegis now. Needs a passcode? It should be around here somewhere. Take a look around. Twenty fifty six. I've seen that number around a lot in this place. Strange. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Aegis is in its final shutdown sequence. Mel. Come back to the lift. I can get you out of this facility. Okay, Mel. The elevator is in lockdown until you put your portal device in the incinerator over there. Mel, I, I just wanted to say something. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really, if it weren't for you, I would have drowned at the offices in the junkyard. I'm so sorry about lying to you in the beginning. It, it was a pretty bad Cave Johnson impression. <laughs> anyway, this thing should take you out of here, back to your normal life. Well, whatever you can call normal by this point. I don't know exactly what's out there, but it should be better than what's down here. So, just enjoy the rest of your life. Look, the elevator is here. See you later, Mel.